throwing grenades, launching missile strikes, and destroying helicopters. These are all activities millions of people around the world are going home to do every day. And no, I'm not talking about soldiers, or terrorists, or even murderers. I am talking about gamers. <laughs> and gamers carries with it a very strong stereotype. A teenager who would sooner play on a games console than revise for his next important exam. Or a sixth form dropout who has more fun sitting in front of a box than facing the dreaded job center. But how true is this stereotype? The average age of a gamer is not 16, not 17, not 15, no. The average age of a gamer is in fact 27. <laughs> so why do these mature 27-year-olds enjoy playing children's games so much? Well, games give people the chance to escape to another world. Although this lonely geek may never get closer to his girlfriend than, say, his mum. <laughs> By night, he can become Zorgoth, king of Middle-earth and leader of the dragon realm. <laughs> or the overweight, middle-aged man can achieve one of the greatest goals ever set for the human race, only ever been achieved once before. Yes, this man can make England look like a decent football team <laughs> and maybe one day win the World Cup. But out of all these games, there is one game that stares down on the other games and laughs. It truly is the king of games. It sold 4.7 million copies on its first day. The king of games is Call of Duty. <laughs> and there are many skeptics about the game. They say to the game makers, they say, look, you're polluting the minds of young children putting them in a war zone. But then the game makers say, well, we've rated the game in 18, which means only 18-year-olds can buy it. It is this that worries me, because to play the game, you have to be 18. But to join the armed forces, you have to be 16. Does this mean that the game is worse than real life? And how is it that this game will make me go and kill someone? Would you say that EastEnders is going to make me kill my aunt or impregnate my gran? <laughs> no. I am tired of games being blamed for pitiful parenting and bad behaviour by children. I issue this order to all you adults to stop playing the blame game and rise to your call of duty. Yeah.